Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Table Side of Fire Bride. I am Lauren. Today, we will be making a chocolate pie from the Hershey's 1934 cookbook. In my cooking group on Facebook, I made a poll. I was like, hey, I need help trying to think of ideas for videos. And I just listed a couple different options. And one of them was a chocolate pie. And I mean, it really took like no time and everyone's like, chocolate pie, make a chocolate pie. It'd be great for Easter. <laughs> so because of my awesome audience, I think you guys are great. I'm gonna make you a chocolate pie. <laughs> so yeah, let's do it. All right, so first, let's go ahead and get the pie crust out of the way. I just have a frozen one from Kroger. The cookbook says just to prepare it, you know, how you normally would. So I just followed the instructions on the back. <laughs> so let's go ahead, get this out of the way. Then we'll start preparing everything else. All right, first we're going to take an envelope of unflavored gelatin. I'm just going to put that in there and a little ramekin. Next, we're going to take three tablespoons of cold water and we're just going to pour it in there and we're going to set this off to the side for a couple of minutes to let it bloom. Then we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step. In a saucepan, we are going to add one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips, a half a cup of milk, now we're gonna cook this on low and we're gonna stir it constantly until the chocolate chips have melted. All right, now that our chocolate chips are melted, we're gonna pull this from the heat and we're gonna add in our other ingredients. To our melted chocolate, we are gonna add in that gelatin that we bloomed and set off to the side. One third cup of sugar, half teaspoon of salt, three egg yolks that have been beaten, and then three-fourths of a cup of milk. And we're just going to mix this up until it's completely combined. Now we're going to put this on medium heat, and we're going to constantly stir it until this starts to thicken. All right, so it is nice and thickened. It smells amazing. I turned the heat off. Now we are gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla. And just mix that in really well. Then we're gonna actually take this off of the stove and place some plastic wrap or wax paper on top. And we're just gonna let it sit in the fridge until it's completely solid and thickened. Then we're gonna add this to our pie crust. And we are back. We have our little chocolate pie. We put some cool whip on it to kind of add some pizzazz to it. Yeah. So, darling, I don't know. Have, have you ever had a homemade chocolate pie? Um, I know I never made you one because this is my first one. If I have, I, can't, I don't remember it. So. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah, let's do this. All right, I'm gonna try it without the cool whip first. Mm. Tastes a lot like pudding. So. <laughs> Um, my first thought is, you know, yes, it does taste like a pudding, which I think that's how they used to make pudding back in the day. Um, it kind of makes me think of the pudding that you get in the, what was it? The little kids TV dinners with the penguin. Oh, okay. It's yeah. Like, what is it? Uh, cake cuisine? Yes. Yeah. That or the chocolate pudding that was in the banquet uh tv dinners right yeah core memory unlocked 
I don't know if that's a good thing or I don't know. I'm trying not I'm trying to not think too hard about it and just enjoying a pie. Like it is a very rich pie. It's very rich. It's very solid. Like it is a very solid solid pie. It is good. My thing is like, I don't have anything bad to say about it. It is a very good pie. It's just different from what I'm used to. Like, mm. I've never had a homemade, that I'm aware of, a homemade chocolate pie. And it just makes me think of the pudding that you get in a TV dinner. <laughs> it's good. I would definitely would make it again. I would want to try to make my own crust instead of a frozen pie crust because like, I don't know if you guys can see, but like this part of the pie just broke as I was cutting. Oh, don't want to dump that over. But the vast majority of the crimped part of the pie just, just broke. <laughs> And I was just like, well, that sucks. I was kind of wanting, yeah, wanting that, but you know what, whatever. So the pie was quite the labor of love between, you know, cooking it all low, making sure the chocolate doesn't burn and constantly having to stir it again to make sure it doesn't burn and all that stuff. Time-wise, it, it took forever, mm. but it was easy. It was a very easy pie. It just took 50 years to make. <laughs> this is not for the impatient. No, <laughs> this is not by any means an instant pie. <laughs> so, darling, would you want to have this again? I think so, yeah. I Go ahead. This would be great to also bring to a gathering. Yes, this would be really good for the holidays. Easter is coming up. If you have the time to make it, go for it. It is a good pie. Just it makes me think of pudding from, you know, TV dinners. But that's just me because I'm an oddball. Anyway, um, yeah, if you have the time to make it, it is a good pie. Mm -hmm. Just be patient. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I have nothing else to say. Well, that's a lie. But do you have anything to say? I do not. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming back and hanging out with me as I made a pie. That is like my first from scratch pie I have made. Cool. Except the crust. So I need to redeem myself on that. <laughs> but, you know, thank you guys for coming back and hanging out with me. As I made this pie, which was also a vintage dessert from the 1930s. Nice. If you guys want to see more content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys want to see me post twice a week on this channel, let's get up to 500 subscribers. <laughs> if you guys want to support the channel, my Buy Me A Coffee and Venmo information will also be in the description. Until then, you guys are awesome. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.